Welcome back, people of Tamriel. I'm Xenocraft1212, back with another Skyrim mod showcase video. And this time, I am showcasing the mod that I just barely made, called Dawnguard Battle Axe. Now, I apologize if I sound super nasally. I am sick, and there's not much that I can do about that. I've been sick for like two weeks off and on. Hopefully my previous videos didn't sound this bad, because I was recovering and I thought I would be fine until it came back. But anyways, this mod adds two axes that are fashioned after the um, headsman's axe, except they do quite a bit more damage than the headsman's axe, they do 20 damage. Uh, my character says 60 because he has maxed out um, two-handed, but they do either 20 or 22 damage, it might be 22 actually. And they also have an enchantment that does more sun damage per the number of undead that you have killed. And this is of course very useful in the Dawnguard quest line. There, well, this enchantment is used in a one-handed axe that you can get later in the Dawnguard quest line. But I've always been annoyed that there's never like there's not a two-handed version of a Dawn Guard weapon except for the Warhammer, and I personally do not like the way that the Warhammer looks. Just a preference, but I do not like the way that weapon looks. And also, I just don't like Warhammers in general. I apologize for the coughing again. Um, I really wanted to make this video before I put the file up on the Nexus, which is what I am about to do, because Having your file, like have, I mean, having your video on the Nexus mod page and in the description of that Nexus mod page is, of course, extremely helpful. Need something? Uh, no. Huh? 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 I'm glad we're finally taking the fight to those monsters. Mm, great. We're not taking the fight anywhere. We're just standing around. But. I'm trying to think of a place that I could go to show you, like vampires. Name our shame, I guess. Remember, there we go. Hey, there's the regular axe. Now I don't know like how to model the things in this game. If I did, I would have made like. What I probably would have done is just scaled up the head of the one-handed axe and then put it on like the shaft for this axe or something to that effect but I'm not that good at this game so sorry we're stuck with just the regular headsman's axe so something interesting that I'm about to show you is that the way this game handles undead is sort Someone of interesting there? so that person who is a vampire's thrall so in theory the vampire killed them and resurrected them, well they don't count as undead. Because if you go to the weapon, it still says zero. I don't know how, I don't know why this is the case, but it just is. And if I sound slightly different, that's because there's been about an hour break between when I first entered this cave and now. Why did she die so quickly? <laughs> oh yeah, so I have the gameplay set to novice simply because I have not upgraded this weapon at all and these vampires are scaled to me being level 118 and this axe is slightly worse than an ebony axe so without upgrading it as a stone, it's not worth it. Nothing. This vampire is particular. Why I changed the difficulty, and I'm going to turn it back actually because that took a long time considering the amount of noise that she was creating. And of course, that noise is not the best for video. Um. So there's. Make sure that, yeah, two undead killed. So, it is counting them. 
Now, there's no way something out there. to tell directly in the game if the enchantment is working, which is annoying. Because it doesn't, like, catch them on fire or have any physical indication on the enemy if it's working. That was supposed to be my kill, dude. Night I'm sorry. That wasn't me who killed it, but did count? Yes. I have um, better looking weapons turned off right now because when I exported the mod file, I did not want better looking weapons to go with it. As it has in the past, nearly got me in trouble for it with my faster swinging greatswords mod. So if you're wondering why everything kind of looks like crap, that's why. And why am I continuing here? Because this dungeon, no, I want to go back. But we... Um, is Fort Dongar a place you can center of cell to? Let's find out. Fort Dumbyard. Uh, nope. Great. And I can't fast travel out of here. So, when in doubt, center of cell white rub. The end all of everything. Just trying not to cough. Um, by the way, I failed at trying not to cough. Hopefully you didn't hear too much. Why is my follower way the heck over there? That's interesting. Never noticed that before. So, I hope I've shown everything I can about this here X. By the way, the reason I made two of them is so that your follower can have one. I'm right behind you. Ooh, ooh. What do you want me to carry? Of course I need to take Dragon Bane, because he's not gonna want to hold it with Dragon Bane, which does like two hundred damage. Wait, what? What do you want me to carry? I did give it to him, right? Yes. Lead on. Why are you not using it, dude? Hold the axe. There is my axe. I probably gave him mine. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. This is what the quick save is for, folks. Okay, use it. No, you suck. He's programmed to be an archer, so I can understand why he would do that. How oh, those faces look great, don't they? I'm right behind you. Uh, what? Well, now he has the axe, so it works. That's, that's all that matters. So as you can see, it works, and since it has the, like, cloud storage of the enchantment, every undead or vampire, so this includes, like, Draugr and stuff, and skeletons, so every undead that he kills using that axe will make both of our axes stronger, which is very cheaty. It's not how it's supposed to work. But since I couldn't figure out how to duplicate the enchantment and have it still work, this is what we're stuck with. And by the way, this axe looks a lot like, I believe it's an Indian pole arm, I don't know, Scalagram did a video on it. I will link his video in the description, but this looks a lot like a pole arm <laughs> that Scalagram made and his friends. What the? Oh, sweet, <laughs> more vampires. You're watching the real Damn you! This might be it. Like a maximum vampire right now. Let's fire. Not the hard night one. I can't remember. That, that stupid lightning spells. They suck. I love how he hits 
Let's see exactly what he's with the like with the shaft. With the, <coughs> with the wooden handle part of the weapon instead of the actual blade. Yeah. I agree with my statement earlier though, this is not how an axe this is not an axe, this is more of a pole arm with how long the handle is. Although I guess Dane axes were quite large. But before I start going into a severe coughing fit, which I can hear coming, we're going to end it here. So, thanks for watching, if you did, and comment down below if you downloaded this mod, or if you think it's too unbalanced or anything, because feedback is always good. By the way, if you're running, I'm running, if you're wondering why I look so cool right now with the dagger and the sword and the bow and the axe all at the same time, it's because I have a mod called... I believe like favorited weapons like on your back or something. Just search favorited weapons on your back. It should show up if you just Google that. And I'll have it, the name of the mod in the description. But what it does is makes it so that all of your favorited weapons show up. Except, well, all of, all of them if they're different types. So I can't have two swords on my back. Like if I equip um, my little friend over here, the axe goes away, and then if I equip the axe, the sword will go away. So it reduces clutter, and you still get to look cool. I personally very much enjoy the dagger and the sword look, I like how they look close together like that. Because that's how you would wear it in real life, or you'd have the dagger on the other side. But minor details, I'm rambling. So, until the next time, goodbye.